Does it go down along Z direction? Or does it go down along X direction? Neither. It would be something like this. Because you have difference in concentration in X direction and in Z direction as well. Okay? So you have flux of A in X direction going in and out. You will also have flux of A in Z direction going in and out. So in order to avoid confusion, let's look into each term. Input. Input means you have in in x direction and in in z direction. For x direction, it's NAx at x multiplied by the area perpendicular to it. NAx is this part multiplying by this area. Okay? The area here, suppose the width of the wall is W, the area will be W delta Z, right? But you will also have flux in Z direction, AZ, multiplied by the area perpendicular to the flux in z direction, which is w delta x. Okay? That's in term. The output term should look similar. Right. Let's keep our example here to be no to have no reaction. If there is no reaction, you have only in minus out equal to zero. So these two combine. You have W delta Z times NAX at X minus NAX at X plus delta X. And then these two terms combine. In minus out equal to zero at steady state. If you divide the whole equation by W delta X delta Z, this term will be out. You have denominator to be delta X. Taking limit at the end, you have differential of NAX by DX. This term as well, you end up with DN, DNAZ by DZ equal to zero. This time, you can not change partial differentiation to total differentiation anymore. Okay? Now, this is the balance. Next step is to convert NAX and NAZ into concentration. NAX can be re represented by this equation.
Don't be confused. X is concentration, that's more fraction of A. X is coordinate, a little bit different. For NAZ, you will have similar Okay. The idea is you take these two equations. First of all, you need to somehow eliminate n b and then plug it back to that equation, differential equation, integrate it with respect to x and with respect to z, applying boundary condition. That's it. You get the result. But it's not as easy as it said, right? So what can we do? The reaction, the equation itself is very complicated. These two terms are also complicated, and we need to eliminate NB. What should we do? Let's start with x direction. In x direction, A diffuses into liquid. And then, within the liquid itself, A diffuses it toward the wall, right? Is there any convection term in x direction? Because normally this term is considered diffusion. This term is considered as convection. Is there any convection in x direction? Let me rephrase. Is the convection equal to zero in x direction? In math, you need to be very careful. Whenever you have velocity profile, or whenever you force the fluid to flow in any direction, you have convection in that direction for sure, right? But if you do not force the liquid to flow, you may or may not have convection in that particular direction. Because convection in, in our mass transport here, convection term depends on the direction where average molecules move. If, the, if on average molecules move from left to right, there will be convection in that direction. All right. So in our case here, we do not know whether when one mole of A moves from the left to the right, does B move from the right to the left as well to counteract the, the flow. We do not know. So in this particular case, we cannot say that convection is absolutely zero. All we can say is, in x direction, diffusion dominating. Diffusion is dominating. Convection here is not as important as diffusion in x direction. So therefore, we will neglect this term. OK? And similarly, similar as previous example, in this case, A dissolves in liquid B. A comes from gas. So concentration of A in liquid is supposed to be small. Majority of the species in liquid is still B. Right? So we can assume that total concentration of the liquid is constant. And then I'm going to take C here inside. At the end, it is approximately DAB DCA by DX for NXA, for NAX. For Z direction, this is diffusion. 
This is convection. Does diffusion term in x or oh, in z direction equal to zero? Is there any con is there any diffusion in z direction? Is there any difference in concentration of A along Z direction? Yes. Down here, I mean at the bottom, A is supposed to be higher in concentration because it has more time for contact with the liquid. Up here, concentration of A is lower because we fed, we feed the fresh B, right? So Difference in concentration induce diffusion. In this case, diffusion in C direction going upward. But if you consider common sense, the flow of the liquid B is supposed to sweep A downward. So that means diffusion is negligible in Z direction. So this is negligible. But still, we still have problem with NB, okay? In this case, you need to consider summation of flux. This is summation sigma ni. And sigma ni is by itself is C V star. Flux here is flux along Z direction. So therefore, velocity here is supposed to be velocity in z direction. Now, xa times c, you get ca vz star. This is approximately this number. All right. Now, I have one question. Do you think VC star here and VC here, are they the same? Are they the same? In detail, they're not the same, okay? In detail, VC star is the net flow of both species. It's the direction showing or the, the average velocity of all species combined. But VC here was calculated under assumption that maybe you have only one single component, single species. They're not the same. But if you have force flow, if you force fluid to flow, Normally, VC here and V star can be approximately the same. By numbers, they are approximately the same. By definition, they are different. Okay? So I'm going to bring that to shell balance. Minus. Okay, so as I said, this VC star can be approximate to be VZ. 